Hi, I'm Jim Hermiller. It's a real pleasure to present at CBI 2020, and I want to thank the course directors for the opportunity. This was a case that really is my ultimate mitral repair challenge, and it was predominantly because it was in a live case. There's lots of adventures, lots of learnings, and a rich emotional experience, so I wanted to share it with you. These are my disclosures. Patient's a great guy, 90-year-old farmer, um, and although he's got lots of comorbidities, as you can see, you wouldn't guess it. Um, shakes your hand, he'll crush your hand uh, with his handshake, and he's still out in a tractor with his son's grandsons and great-grandsons. His trouble is he can't get out of the hospital because of heart failure, and this is why he's got terrible bileaflet uh, prolapse and mitral regurgitation. He's all got also got 2 plus AI. He's got coronary disease with osteal left main and osteal LAD disease. You can see it here as well. SDS calculator just for an MVR or mitral repair and cabbage is 12%. That's not including the aortic valve if that needed to and so nobody from surgery was particularly interested in taking this on. So went ahead and rotobladed the left main and LAD, stented them both with a nice result. Then we brought him in for a live case, and here's uh, a little bit more TEE. Um, you can see here in the bicommissural uh, views, um, severe medial prolapse of both leaflets, particularly the uh, uh, posterior leaflet that doesn't have a lot of secondary cortical support. There is a little flail, you can't see it here though, um, and four plus MR. This is just trans uh, esophageal view. Here's the long axis view. Fortunately, he's got lots of valve area, which is great. He's got a big valve area six, seven centimeters squared. And you can see here in the uh, 3D on FOSS view, uh, he's got uh, really disease out into P3A3, as well as the medial aspect of A2P2, kind of half of A2P2. Transeptal in these cases, yeah, when you're really dealing with something very medially, it's very important to get height. Um, and in this particular case, I actually had to stick the secundum uh, to get enough height. So you can see this in the short axis coming through the secundum. You know, I just go mid or uh, mid-low. I, I, I actually, for these very minor cases, don't go high uh, in the septum and the bicable, cable, but uh, lower than that. But lots of height, and that's lots of height in that four chamber. Everything's going smoothly. We are just rocking along here. Here's the first clip. Um, we go live, you know, everything's set up. We go live with the clip ready to kind of go in and, and uh, to take care of things. Lo and behold, every time we open the clip arms, this thing swings wildly anteriorly, uh, wildly anteriorly. It just ramps up into the aorta and uh, anterior leaflet. Um, you can see here, trying to put a bunch of posterior guide on it, um, messing, messing around with the AP knobs. Um, and it turns out that the mitral clip's broken, uh, the cable's bad, um, and so now live we've got to take this thing out. Key to taking these out is don't get it hooked on the guide. Um, get perpendicular to it so you can see both arms on FOSS, and then slowly bring it, uh, slowly uh, bring it, bring it in. Um, it can help to to have uh, distance between the the uh, clip itself and the, the end of the clip delivery system. So here's the first clip going in. We're back with a, another clip. Nicely aligned. We're sort of probably on the lateral aspect of P3A3 here. And in when you get over here, the smile kind of goes up. So you want to be 11, 5, maybe even uh, if you're very medial, 10, 4. Uh, with respect to the orientation of the clip. But uh, fortunately, we got plenty of So this is after the first grasp. We still got movement in that posterior leaflet, but much less, and we've got a really good grasp. Um, and 
There we go. And we've got no leak medial to this thing. Still lots of leak lateral, which we expect. So here comes the second clip, just lateral to the first clip. Um, we're going to get it very close to it. Um, uh, when I'm putting a clip uh, lateral to a more medial clip, come in, um, and I'm not holding respirations, and I try and get real close to it. And then once I'm underneath it, ready to grasp, I'll go off respirations. It'll bring it more medially, and I'll be right up against that other clip. You can put a little more M on it if you wanted to even bring it closer if necessary. So here we're working on the second clip, and we get a grasp, and it's uh, nice and engaged. And with that, we've got just a leak, just lateral to the second clip, uh, nothing medial and really nothing in between the clips. This is just the 3D from below in the ventricle, and you can see the uh, bigger Pisa uh, just uh, lateral to the second clip, which is what we're going to treat. There's this teeny little thing out to, uh, and the lateral aspect we're not going to fuss with. Here comes the third clip in. And uh, with this one, we get it hooked on the anterior leaflet. The gripper gets hooked on it. So we have to fuss around uh, with that for a while, cycle the, the, the grippers, and uh, finally, after cycling them enough, uh, uh, we get it off of it. And then we come in and we really nicely engage it. Okay, once we close up that third clip, we've only got a, a three millimeter gradient. Go ahead and release, and all we've got is this little, this little jet right out here laterally, uh, but really nothing else. This thing's coming a little bit uh, lateral to medial, and there's, there's essentially nothing where this, uh, this is what it looks like uh, from above. And again, we've only got a three millimeter gradient. Uh, and just to sort of review things, pre-clip on the left and on the right uh, post. This is a three-year follow-up. And, and I'll tell you, you get these really good results with the mitral clip early on. They're durable. Uh, trivial MR. Still's got uh, moderate uh, AI, but uh, essentially no MR and no uh, significant mitral stenosis as well. The gradient's only three to four millimeters. So to summarize, uh, trace MR after three clips, home the following day, heart failure resolved, got back on the farm without trouble, renal function improved, uh, age 93, functional class one. Thanks for your attention.